Tonight, our street squad team is looking into a traffic light system in the town of Lexington. The town installed cameras around various intersections to monitor the traffic and update traffic signals as it sees fit. Although it's been almost uh, two years, it's been around for two years, the town is expanding the system and starting phase two, two very soon. And many of you have been talking to our street squad about a particular light you want to see changed. Our Nick Jones explains. Everyday Street Squad Lexington goes out into the community to find out the stories that matter to you. You tell us what your concerns are and what things you want to be changed. Over the last week, we've been hearing a lot about traffic lights in Lexington. So let me catch you up to speed on what we've been working on. Now here on the map, as you can see, we're looking at the heavily traveled areas within Lexington. That's Sunset Boulevard as well as North Lake Drive. Now some people are concerned about stoplights at a particular intersection, and that's right here down on North Lake Drive in Abbey Lane. Take a look at this light. Some people say they're frustrated because they feel like they never get the green light. They say it's always flashing yellow to yield. Folks have told Street Squad they want to see a change with this light and others on the road. So we brought your concern to Lexington Mayor Steve McDougall and asked him why this is the case. The camera sees a small box out in front of it in the, in the intersection um, and it counts cars that are in that intersection. So it's continuously talking to the other lights to see if it can go back green to allow those cars to get out of the intersection. The mayor says it is possible for the light at Abbey Lane to turn green depending on how many cars are in the turn lane. With that being said, you wanted us to ask those in charge if it's possible to have the light turn green more often than yellow. Absolutely, we'd be glad to look into it. Our traffic engineer would take that call and say, look, need to look at this intersection. They go back and look at the tapes. Now we have tapes that go back um, probably a month, two months, um, but we only use those for informational purposes. Um, and we'll go back and look at those tapes and if it's warranted, then we can make adjustments. There's no timetable at the moment, but the mayor says he'll let us know if they do or do not make any changes with this traffic light. If you have any other stories that you want us to cover in Lexington, you can just head to our Street Squad Lexington page on Facebook. And if you want us to send us that message, all you gotta do is click right here on the top right hand corner of your screen and type whatever you have right here. We also, we have other Street Squad pages on Facebook with Orangeburg and Sumter as well. Reporting for Street Squad Lexington, I'm Nick Jones.